Hey, what's up you all? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about HCMC, ticker symbol HCMC. It's an OTC traded stock, Healthier Choices Management Corp. We have some great updates to share. So I'll be talking about HCMC and Philip Morris lawsuit and the updates around that. There is some exciting news that I'm going to share with you. We'll do some sort of analysis as well because they both agreed on the next steps uh, with the judge. Second thing we'll do is we'll review some of the block trades that happen in HCMC stock and there is some sort of a great analysis that one of the Twitter user has been doing so I'll walk you through once again the analysis is done by the Twitter user but I felt it's a great uh, it's a great great due diligence and analysis that, so I want to share it with you all as well and the third thing is we'll potentially think about what can happen to HCMC next where the price point that can go from at this point point we'll also review the volume we'll also review some of the outcomes what happened to the stock price in in terms of uh, the lawsuit and if there is more news around its cmc so on and so so forth so we'll do some sort of price uh, prediction and price analysis as well now i'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence and analysis before you buy or sell its cmc or any other stock its cmc especially it's a micro cap stock it is traded on otc market there's a huge speculation it's a speculative stock but there's a huge potential to make a 10x money in its cmc stock as well or on the flip side you can lose all of your money so only invest whatever you're willing to lose out of your portfolio subscribe to my channel because we have been doing continuous analysis it is very much appreciated if you subscribe to my channel it supports the growth and uh, and growth and uh, it helps me as well a lot so your help and support is very much appreciated click on the like button I do a lot of effort I compile all the details I share this uh, videos with you and it takes me a lot of time and effort so your like is very much appreciated looking at it CMC the stock is trading at 0.0015 as I mentioned micro cap stock the market cap is 464 million dollars now this is not the only lawsuit that can bring this company up the company does have legit revenue it has uh, it has patents and the company has also physical store locations company's revenue in q4 is 3.23 million dollars q3 3.35 million dollars so the company has been generating revenue 3.31 million in q2 and 4 million in q1 so the company has been generating revenue the company has enough cash on hand the company's balance sheet look pretty good as well they also worked on their EBITDA in q4 so they saved half a million dollars in just operating cost even though there is a severe health CV situation, the company has been performing pretty well, better than the expected. Now, considering that the price, the price is pretty volatile and there are a few reasons. The, one of the biggest, biggest reason is their Philip Morris lawsuit that they have filed. Now, before we go there, I want to share that the company has three subsidiary or three uh, sister concern companies. First one is their IP holding LLC, which basically holds the intellectual properties, their patents, patent portfolio and something along those lines and this is one of the company and there could be strategic reason as to why the company has divided into th this three subsidiary companies so they can sell maybe at one point they can get the acquisition done if they want to without impacting other businesses that the company has the second business is their healthy choice market one of the physical location as I just mentioned in Florida falls under this company based on my research I found and the third one is the vape store that the company has. The, with the eight vape stores across the Southeast United, United States, the vape store has a clear foot of hold in ever-growing e-cigarette and vaping market. And this is one of their growing business as well. So I just wanted to share that the company has three subsidiary on the top of their healthy food business that they are in. Now, looking at the Philip Morris lawsuit, there is an update. The company, both the companies, uh, Philip Morris and its CMC, they both agreed and they asked for extension of time to file the response in reply to defendant's motion to dismiss under the lawsuit. Now, here is its CMC plaintiff. Here is uh, Philip Morris USA and Philip Morris product SA defendant. Now, what, it's, uh, it, what it says is upon reviewing pa uh, parties joint motion, so they have a joint motion first time both the companies agreed on something and that tells me something again this is a highly highly speculation this is a guesswork so do not go just on what i'm saying do your own due diligence but there are some possibilities that will 
discuss down the line upon reviewing parties joint motion for extension of time to file response and reply to defendant's motion to dismiss under this regulation for the good cause appearing therein therefore it ordered that the joint motion is granted so the judge granted the joint motion the deadline for the uh, philip morris uh, uh, management corporation to file the defendant's uh, response motion to dismiss is march 22nd so it is pushed by a week or two then it so it was 11th of uh, march so 11 days uh, precisely and a week here or there it's not going to change the game it is uh, more for let's say if someone is waiting for a swing trade or day trade that might impact but if you're holding this for a long term fundamentally nothing has changed on the contrary in my opinion it opens up even more doors for the stock to spike and i'll talk, i'll tell you why now and the deadline for the defendant philip morris the product is april 16th so what happened and this this order was signed on 10th of march 2021 by the honorable judge now what we want to talk here is they, they both are filing this joint motion uh the joint extension for this uh, particular motion now there are a few things that can be going on the first thing is their lawyers and both the companies might be working together to come up to a solution maybe some lump sum amount maybe some royalty deals and hard to believe but kind maybe there is a possibility of an acquisition of certain parts of its cmc and as i mentioned the company has three different subsidiary and they have a lots and lots of patents so they might be working on a deal so that's one thing the second thing is the company might be simply filing extension due to the cv situation and what's going on at the moment and that is a legit possibility as well because both the companies may need time and that many times happen in the lawsuit that both parties agree that okay we both need more time so that we can come up with uh, our own due dil we can do our due diligence and share further as to what can happen in this lawsuit so that's another possibility the third possibility and this one of this uh, user that we have been following julian our t trade 1976 has done some analysis and that sounds pretty interesting and i do believe that there is something there between last tuesday and today 2.9 billion shares have been bought through block trades mostly after hours this is the due diligence has been done they filed the joint extension as the user says right here and they have checked some of the facts and they did th their own due diligence and that sounds pretty legit as well now what is block trade if you don't really know block trade really happens outside the many times happen outside the market and let's take a look real quick what is the definition of block trade block trade is a sell or purchase of a large number of securities a block trade involves significantly large number of equities or bonds being traded at an arranged price between two parties they're often sometimes outside the market or outside the open market to uh, so that it does not really impact the securities price now that also tells a story if there is a huge number of shares that are being bought and sold outside of the market so it does not impact the price that means someone is investing into its cmc remember when someone sells someone buys as well so whoever is believe, believing in the company will be buying and this is not a small amount of shares they're talking about uh close to three billions and more than that in last few days so that also tells a story so that might be a possibility that someone is believing strongly in the company in addition to that there is more analysis done by these two users i'm just trying to share this information with you hoping that will help you also making informed financial decision that the fact number one is alteria group owns philip morris also known as pm and its cmc is suing pm now the fact three which is pretty pretty imp important fact is this uh, person recently voted number one lawyer law firm represents its cmc their case against pm now that law firm is owned by alteria group now fact number four they assisted in ip due diligence the same uh, law firm assisted in the ip due diligence that represented alteria group in their acquisition of john middleton for 2.9 billion dollars and i looked into it further i searched online resources and it does seem like it's an accurate information so 
huge, huge acquisition. Now think about it. And I'm not saying by no means that HCMC can have $2 billion acquisition or $1 billion. I'm not putting a price uh, there. But if there is acquisition, look at the look at the market cap that HCMC has. Pretty small market cap, $464 million. Now looking at this kind of market cap, even if it's a small, a small amount than $2.9 billion, it adds a significant value into the market cap or into the worth of HCMC as a company. So that's pretty interesting. And who knows, they may turn into an acquisition agreement because they ask for more time. We have time till April now instead of end of May, which is not a big deal in my opinion. I do own, for disclaimer, uh, I do own HCMC myself um, and I'm willing to lose the money that I've invested. That's why I'm doing this due diligence and I'm sharing with you, hoping it'll help you out as well. Now, what is the opinion of this particular user that they say, go and check uh, the track record of this person. The guy is winning rec has a winning record and most ended in settlement. In addition to that, very, very true fact, 95 to now 90, more than 95%, I want to say, patent litigations and in settlement. Now, when we talk about this, I also want to talk about one of this thing. Uh, I believe it's right here. Philip Morris gets BAT, B-A-T, the British company e-cigarette patent invalidated in UK. And that happened just before a day on March 9th. A London judge has revoked British American tobacco, that is BAT, units patent for heat not burn electronic cigarette saying Tuesday it's lagged the inventive step over a decade old Philip Morris invention. So that's kind of a little bit of a negative news uh, that was taken as one of the concern. But you want to consider that whatever HCMC has filed versus BAT filed are two separate things. They're not linked together. And once again, there might be a settlement. There might not be a settlement with HCMC and PM. They're both separate things. And it may turn into something similar to if something similar to BAT, I'm trying to say. And at that time, the price may go down south for HCMC. Uh, so, but these are all speculation. That's where the reward versus risk comes into play. There's a huge risk with HCMC. And as I mentioned, even though there's a risk, the company is legit. The company is trading on OTC market. The company has revenue. They're not only dependent on their patent lawsuit. If they win, they can survive. That's not the case that I wanted to share. In addition to that, there is one more thing I wanted to share that the stock price and how the stock is trading. I have noticed that the volume is decreasing for HCMC. We saw 30 billion, 40 billion, some sort of like huge volume in the past, but the volume has been decreasing. The stock price is sideways. But one thing I want to mention about HCMC, and that's pretty normal as well, in my opinion, nothing wrong if the volume goes lower because you cannot have huge and huge volume. Also, you want to think about the block trades that are happening outside the market but you cannot always expect that there will be a huge huge volume for a particular stock for a huge amount of time in my opinion still the volume is pretty high considering it's an OTC stock considering it's a very small market cap considering it's a pretty volatile stock as well now looking at this the RSI looks pretty good 4344 RSI their MACD obviously the MACD the blue is under the orange line so the MACD is a little bit negative. I want to see the blue is above the orange line in terms of the technical analysis and whatnot. I don't really want to bore you with the Fibonacci uh, drawing the lines and stuff, but this is pretty important to note if you are trading for a long term. One thing though I want to mention, and let's take a look at the one day chart. If you take a look at one day chart, uh, the, the blue line is above the orange line, if you can see right here. So that suggests that the stock may run up more. Also 37 RSI looks 37 to 50. As you can see, it fluctuates pretty quickly. But one thing I want to say, so 50 RSI, just to go back and say 50 RSI is pretty normal pretty strong, uh, strong uh, not an overbought, not an oversold condition, but 0 0.0015 has a great, great support for the stock. Now the next support, next resistance I want to say is 0 0.0020. The stock is unable, stock is struggling, Stro stock is trying hard to break that line uh, of 0 0.0020, but it is unable. It is not able to do that. So let's take a look at the five day chart. Five day chart looks pretty healthy, in my opinion. 49 RSI, pretty much in the, 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 the red line is in the middle, not overbought, not oversold. 
the blue is under the orange which is uh, understandable the volume is pretty high if you see the volume volume is high here volume is high here even though with the higher volume the stock cannot go beyond 0 0.0020 which is a big big resistance in my opinion let's take a look at the 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 one month chart and i'll i'll, I'll show you so look right here the stock tried to break uh, so after it fell down from this level 0 0.0020 it could not go beyond it tried once again 0 0.0018 went below tried once again 0 0.0017 went below and it keeps trying but it is not able to go there now what my point is if it can cross 0 0.0020 it can fly up to 0 0.0030 level and the reason is we have seen that right here once it crossed right here it uh, it went all the way and i'm not saying this was a speculation this was a momentum this was a lot of news on social media and people got a lot of traction on this stock which is why it went to 0 0.0049 now we need a one more solid news and that can happen maybe later this month around 22nd of march uh when the there's a next filing uh or the motion to answer motion that will be answered or it can happen in april now before that if both the company agrees on something maybe it's a royalty maybe it's a lump sum amount or something along those lines the stock can skyrocket now if something happens like vat you know that the stock can go in south now the company has legit revenue once again and it's a legit company so only invest if you want to uh if you're willing to lose some money in the interim or if you want to hold it for a long time or if you believe in the company that something can happen in future so this is my analysis this is my due diligence i want to share it with you i'm not a financial advisor this is not an advice to buy or sell stock this is purely for educational and or entertainment purposes so do your own due diligence consider subscribing to my channel consider liking this video it takes me a while your like is very much appreciated i'll see you in the next video thanks all for watching guys